Well, fine. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am in Cornwall, Vermont today, and I'm going to talk about this building right here across from us. In fact, it tells us what the building is right there. Blacksmith Shop, 1791. Now, I am standing on the side of Vermont 30, and um, it's a fairly busy street. And uh, I'm kind of unhappy to say it's raining today, too. So, uh, it's raining right now anyway. But anyhow, let me tell you about this building and then uh, walk across the street and then do a little bit of a walk around, alrighty? Alrighty, so this is the old stone blacksmith shop, which is an historic building on Vermont Route 30 in Cornwall, Vermont. Probably built in the late 18th century, it is a rare example in the state of a stone blacksmith shop with a documented history of more than a century's use for the purpose. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1975. The Old Stone Blacksmith Shop stands in a rural area of Cornwall on the west side of Vermont Route 30, about midway between its junctions with Ridge and Robbins Roads. It is a single-story structure fashioned out of irregularly coursed limestone and covered by a gabled roof. The building corners are set in a coined fashion with more regularly cut stone. It is set into a sharp rise, so its front is fully exposed, but its rear wall is completely, is almost completely below grade. The front facade has a horizontally rectangular window at the center and a two-leaf bay door to its right, fastened with wrought iron strap hinges. The gable ends have sash windows, and the protruding portion of the rear wall has narrow casement windows. The shop has traditionally been given an early construction date of 1791. That is the year Vermont became a state, by the way. The year Thomas Pritchard purchased the property. Its construction style is consistent with other stone buildings built in the region as late as 1845. Pritchard is known to have sold an extant blacksmith shop in 1805, but it is unclear if it were this building. Regardless of its construction date, it is the oldest example of this type of service building in the community. Alrighty, so after these cars pass, we're going to cross the road. I see there are a couple of signs over here. Hopefully with the traffic noise behind us, it will be easier to hear. Certainly less dangerous for me. Alright, so here's the sign. It says the building was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. And next to it, this old stone blacksmith shop on Route 30 was constructed in 1791 by Thomas Pritchard. It was owned by Stuart Witherell, Witherell, 1906-1984, a lifelong resident of Cornwall. He completely restored the shop in 1974 from contents of a blacksmith shop in Moncton. Mr. Witherell had the shop open and operating during historic occasions. In 1975, the building became a state and national historic site. Look at this beautiful stonework. Isn't this gorgeous? Can you see up close this sign? And let's look at the side here. Oof. And on this end, you can see there's a chimney. I'm glad I'm here this time of the year before there's a bunch of uh, uh, flowers and plants and all that with a greenery. You can see inside some degree, can't we now? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Or maybe a little tiny bit. Hard to say. <laughs> this place is privately owned, and the last time it was open to the public was about 10 years ago for the town's 250th anniversary. Um, as I understand it, the owner is uh, uh, in ill health and not able 
have to open this place to the public anymore. Look at that timber in there. See that? That old timber right there? That's incredible. Boards are weathered. It could be given a whitewash, which uh, would have been typical for the era. But, well, for a house it would be. I don't know for a blacksmith shop if it would have been. <laughs> Got a tree branch stuck to me. Holy cow. All right. Wow. Pictures may be a titch blurry, but wow, isn't that amazing? I would say so. Of course, I am the one looking at it from. I don't think my light's helping at all. Can't even tell. We can see those those small casement windows, can't we? On the other side. I mean, yep, blurry, but we can see them nonetheless. You see some uh, roof pieces They're on the ground. One here, one there, and one over here as well. There's two over here. I think it's one. Yeah, it's one piece. And this wonderful door, we can see the hinges right here. Aren't those remarkable? Wow. It's padlocked because it has this simple um, way to unlatch the door. And... Uh, Closer you see, you can see that better. And this, you can see that this window is boarded up. And look at this uh, stacked stone wall. Definitely older construction. Wow, how nifty is this? So we can see from the way it goes from down here to up that there really is an earth inside, which is uh, it's good fire protection. It's good for warmth as well. Um, so yeah, it's good for a lot of things. Almost like a bank barn, uh, a barn that's built into a bank of, uh, you know, land. So anyway, well, this is Patricia and I'm traveling for history. I really wanted to, sh to uh, film this uh, old stone blacksmith shop for some time. And uh, if you plug it into Google Maps, let me assure you, you will not find it that way. So it's about a mile north of the Cornwall to uh, Town Hall, which I already filmed uh, last week. I'll put the link to that in this, the um, video so you can watch it at your leisure. But uh, so I would uh, go to the Cornwall. If, you, if you're heading south on uh, Vermont 30, you will drive by this pretty quickly, pretty fast, pretty easily because it's 50 miles per hour along here. Uh, what is that? That's uh, what is 50. A little less than 90 kilometers uh, per hour. Um, so, uh, a little less than 90 kilometers. So, um, so you'll have to turn around the town hall anyway. And you'll be able to park across the street or you could park right in front. So, um, 
Anyway. If you're enjoying the, my content, hey, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. 166 people and growing. Really love that. Appreciate it greatly. I was just looking at this here. I think that was for a gutter. And then if we look at the roof itself, you can see the pieces are coming up from the roof. Never know what I'm going to see as I'm talking. But um, anyway, until I see you again, you have a great evening. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it.